guys, it's been a hot minute since I made a video. I was just staying at home and I was like revising a little bit and then I was like, I feel like I want to do a video. I had been having problems with my laptop. I just got a new one. Just like, okay, I'll see what I can do. I have some new editing software and I was like, okay, let me, let me do a video. And then it comes to making a video and I was like, well, it was probably going to be um, another gym vlog, but I just thought I'm going to pop on Twitter and ask people what they would like to see. I just thought it would be good for me to sit down and do like a little talk chat video. I was going to do some story times, but I feel like there's some people that are watching the videos that I want to do story times about, and I didn't think that's going to go down very well. I asked you guys if there was something that you wanted me to talk about for taking time to actually answer my questions on Twitter. I love that. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter. And let's start. So today we're going to talk about confidence and how to be more confident. Um, there's, I could do probably a whole series about this, but I have a few points I wanted to touch on. So the first one, like the most simple one is probably dress, right? So to feel confident, for example, if you're going to an interview, you're not going to go in like oversized t-shirt and sweatpants. You just want to be taken seriously. You want to look the part. So I feel if you dress to look the part and it makes you feel confident. So it might be matching underwear. It might be wearing your perf, like favorite perfume, wearing a lip gloss, you know, having your hair a certain way. So if you look confident, it will make you straight away look more confident. If you're going to um, have a business meeting, obviously you want to look the part for everyone else to take you seriously. So you make yourself look confident, you know, you have a good posture. So those are like little things that you could do just to start off is basically looking the part. So that's my probably easiest thing to do that's what I like to do so if I have to go to an interview I'll put a blazer on I'll put my favorite bracelets on I'll put some nice strong perfume you know how have my hair in the certain way that I like it and a little bit more maybe in depth I would say so is owning up to your insecurities so if you're not confident because you have um I don't know like pointing ears I used to be taking like made, made fun of because because of the size of my nose now I'm absolutely okay with it like I just owned up to us like yeah I don't have the most the tiniest nose on the planet but who cares like I don't care if I wanted to I could have a plastic surgery if I don't want to like I can it's, it's literally not getting in the way of me performing and doing anything else so if you own up to the things that people are making fun of therefore it makes you a little bit more confident if it's something for example it used to be my language so I was very insecure uh when I came to talking so I would never want to speak up people like I would just say yes, no, and that would be exactly it. What can you do? You can improve on your insecurities on the things that you're not good at and the things that you're insecure about. Therefore, the better my English was, the more confidence I had to step up and to speak out my mind. And that's my next point. When be authentic to yourself. So if you have something that you feel strongly about, it might be being independent, you know, it might be your views, it might be the religion, it might be that you're not religious, whatever it is. So if you have an opinion about a certain topic, you need to be passionate, you need to be, if someone says, oh, I don't, I'm trying to think about a subject that's not going to be too um, controversial and it's not going to make anyone pissed. So if you're in a group of friends, okay, and someone tells you that you know, a house, a, a lady should be a housewife, should stay at home. That's their opinion. If you think that a woman and a man should be co rights but that's what I think. So if I go to work, I would like my partner, uh, my boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, to go to work too. Um, if I clean in a house, he is more likely to clean in a house too because we're going to share everything because females and males should have the same rights. That's my that's my thinking. So if I'm in a group of friends and someone would say to me that, you know, a woman should stay at home and take care of the kids and, and cook for him because he's the provider, I would say my opinion and we may not be best friends by the end of this because he can raise his opinion. Maybe this is how he was raised. This is how I was raised. So I will voice my opinion because I'm confident about what I wanted to talk about. Again, that might be a little bit tricky when it comes to subjects that you are not very not knowledgeable about so for example i wouldn't argue with someone about cars being like oh but this car is better because if you're a mechanic they will probably know so knowing uh, the thing you want to talk about 
and be outspoken about it was probably the best it would be the best idea to actually make some research and know the facts so you know when it's opinionated thing as long as you are true to yourself and this is what you actually think and this is what you believe in then no one can tell you otherwise that is your opinion and everyone are allowed to have their own change the way you are thinking so a lot of the time we bring ourselves down and it's like i'm not going to be able to do it and i'm so guilty over like i'm not going to even preach because i'm probably the one who's i'm probably one of the most challenging and mean people to myself i will be super hard on myself i will be very mean to myself and i know it's not good and then i'm thinking i will not do this like i would never the other day example i was uh, i just started maintaining at the gym and then i decided to okay the first two exercises that i do are going to be a compound movement so the first one is squats and i haven't done squats for a while the first time i did it i was like oh my god i only did like 50 kilos and it was so heavy how am i ever going to get my squat back up so the other day my boyfriend was like let's try 80 and i was like absolutely not can you guys imagine i was running around the gym almost crying saying that i don't want to do it i'm going to break my legs and um, something is going to happen keep in mind a few months ago i have actually done it for one rep so it's like the worst case scenario i'm just going to drop it i just three days prior to the last session i have done 75 kilograms for five reps so i was like well if i go down and i can't lift i'll just drop it it's fine but i had full on meltdown that i can't do it by the end of this i have done four reps so it is just believing that you can do it sometimes other people believe in you way more than you do if i just had the confidence and it's like okay i'm going to go and do it so the session prior to my 80 kilograms personal best i have done 75 but session prior to that, so two sessions ago, I have done 70 for five sets of five, but I had someone spotting me. I always feel like if I don't have someone there, just in case, even though they're not touching me, just standing there, I feel like, oh my God, what if I fail? That's the first thing that I think about. Um, and I was like, okay, I got this. I'm waiting for someone to spot me on 75, but at the time I'm just going to do 70 and I've done two sets of five, no problem. On my own, no one there, headphones in, like you got this, you've done this before, what is the worst thing that can happen so that's another thing believing that you have done something that was as hard as this or even more challenging and therefore yes you can go for it you know i get anxious before interviews but i'm like i had this like i i had this as a part of my qualification before like i've been recorded on an interview and you know it's not a problem um so little things you need to think like what is the worst thing that can happen have i done anything similar to this and then I have been through worse things I can handle it so that's kind of my thinking like it could be it could go really really bad but then it can, it can be better like I know I got this if it's you know you're going for an interview to be a nanny or to be a teacher's assistant why do you want to do this because you love kids you love teaching you love taking care of kids you know you're good in what you do you get along with kids you you have the compassion for them Therefore, yeah, it makes you a good person. You're a good candidate. Like, go for it. You know that you can do it. So wherever it is, you know, the more you know about what you want to pursue, the more confident it's going to make you feel. So if you were a professional test taker after the hundredth test, I'm pretty sure you'd just be like, yes, yeah, like making oatmeal in the morning. Um, so that's th those are like my few little few little changes that I think you could you could do to make you a little bit more confident. And like I say, if you add, like implement those little things into altogether life, I feel like it will help being confident. I, most of the time, have been told that I come across as a confident person. Keep in mind, I have, like, I get anxiety and panic attacks and, you know, usually I have good days, but there are bad days too. When it comes to, like, speaking, especially when it comes to speaking my mind, I'm very confident because this is what I stand for. This is was deep down inside is my truth and I'll stand up for it. So even if me, myself, I might feel like this big compared to someone else that has their opinion, I'm like, but I'm standing up for myself. I'm standing up for every single person that I think should have the same right. So like you said, when it comes to having equal rights, being a feminist, I'll stand up for it. And I don't care that the other person might be, you know, 70 years old or they might be six foot seven and be shouting at me. I do not care. This is my opinion. This is your opinion. I think what I'm saying is right. Obviously, you think your opinion is right, but I'm not going to just let you slide with it because, you know, because you're older, because you're big. Um, so I'm confident in what I'm saying. And there we go. 
Guys, I feel like I'm getting off topic, so I'm just going to cut it off here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or like situation, I don't know, problems with a boyfriend, friends, whatever it is, and you need someone to give you like their opinion, it might not be like uh, the most reliable opinion, but I will let you know, like I would say, opinion, you know, help, a little advice to my sister or to my friend. That's how I'm going to treat it. So if you guys have any ideas I'm thinking about, any stories that I have to say that you might learn from my mistake, um, and I will try to post it soon enough. And for, yeah, for confidence, that's it. If you guys have anything they would like to add on to confidence, definitely leave it down, down bar below, um, in a comment, down, comment section down below, and we'll go from there. So yeah, you can always DM me on Twitter or on Instagram. I also have a Facebook page, so you can message me on Facebook. I don't really know how that works because I'm not the best with Facebook, but you know, hit me up there and that was basically it. I got a little bit heated. I feel like I need coffee now, uh, but it's so dark outside. It's about six o'clock and I have two lights literally just blinding me up. So that would be basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.